Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. And we're going to be talking about the Omi token, man. I haven't talked about this token in I don't know how long, man. I've been, <laughs> I've been focused on other things, as you all know. But I wanted to come back and just give my thoughts. I have been somewhat looking at things and seeing what's going on. I know that they've introduced a new co-CEO. Like... Um, I, I know that they've they've been doing a little here and there that that's been reaching my timeline. I'll pop on and see. Oh, everybody's talking about this. Everybody's excited about that. Everybody's upset about that. I don't usually say anything now these days because you know I'm just kind of in a vibe where I'm more so building. I'm focused on building, focused on my own self growth and elevation to the point where anything that I don't feel is growing with me or you know take going to take me to where I have to go. I don't really feel the need to speak on it, to be honest, but I know a lot of people care about my opinion and my thoughts and how I see things. Um, I'm going to be honest, like my core thoughts and core beliefs on the OMI token and the project, it still hasn't swayed too differently from how I felt for the last couple of years. I think that there was a point in time where the OMI token was needed to fund Vivi and to fund this vision that they have for collectibles, this vision that they have for for all these IP licenses and this new this new technology and how they wanted to use it. I think the OMI token was used to fund it, but I don't believe that they currently have a use case for it or they have a reason to, you know, I don't believe they have a reason to be going hard for the OMI token. I don't think that they have a reason to, I think that the only people who need the OMI token to be successful is us, the investors. I don't think they care at all about that. And I know for certain their licensors don't. Their licensors don't care about how VV got on or how VV became successful or none of that. They only care that they can release a product on VV, it sells out, and it makes them their money. That's all they care about. They don't care about us getting what we deserve, us getting you know rewarded for our loyalty and our faith in this project when no one else cared. They don't like the people who's supposed to care about that is VV. The people who's supposed to care about that is Ecomi. They're the ones who's supposed to look out for us. We didn't sign any deals with these companies. We don't care about these companies. I mean, we care. Like, we all have love for these companies. These companies have played a huge part in our lives, but they're a business at the end of the day. The people who are supposed to have our back and look out for us is Ecomi, David Yu, Dan, Reese, the OG team, the OG people who got us all into this project and made us fall in love with this project, making a bunch of promises and whole time it comes out the entire time while selling us this dream people were selling omi tokens in the background while telling other people to buy it's just been a whole shady fest going on from the beginning man it's just shade shade shady stuff happening from the start and at this point i believe that the nfts could potentially still have some they could have some value some use cases potentially i believe they have vv has positions it's positioned itself with a lot of great partnerships and potentially powerful partnerships, and it does still get sales and things like that. Um, but I think that they take this Band-Aid approach, which is going to end up being, it's detrimental to the success of the project, this Band-Aided approach, because I believe that they, what they do is they hire new faces, bring new faces in to keep the cash cow going just so they can keep milking. They do little things here and there just to continue milking. It's like, I don't care that you got a new community manager. And of course, the community manager is a yes man who only talks positive about, about the project. Then you got a new co-CEO, someone else to tell you that everything is going to be okay. They hire and bring on a new face to tell you everything is going to be okay. And the one thing that they fail to do is the easiest thing in the world. If everything is going to be okay, tell us how. That's it. It's really so simple. Business is not so complicated. No, you don't need to tell us the partnerships or the, or the secret deals or the NDAs you done signed that's going to confirm that we're going over the top. Tell us there's a plan. We've partnered with some AAA companies. At at a certain point in time when we decide that it's the right time to release these, we're going to be releasing things and it's going to, you know, it's we believe that these are powerful enough to catapult us and do this. The OMI token will play a huge role in the ecosystem and it's going to do that. We just need some time. Like, I don't know if we'll get to that this year, but it is on the plate for maybe the next two years because of how the market's looking, because of what we have going on. We have a lot that we have to fix. We have a lot that we have to build. Like we had a lot of unforeseen things happen and we just couldn't, you know, we, we couldn't provide the, the, 
we couldn't keep our promises that we thought that we would be able to keep. So we had to become a little bit more educated. We had to become a little bit more knowledgeable so that that way we don't promise these same things and make the same mistakes. But moving forward, for the all transparency, it's going to take w far longer than we expected it to take. Not this, like that's what we need to hear, if that's even the truth. If that is even the truth, because that's the best case scenario. I feel like for the last few years, we've just been hearing soon, soon, soon. It's working on it. It's coming. It's going to be at the beginning of the roadmap. It's going to be at this stage of the roadmap. That stage of the roadmap where the Omi token was supposed to do this, it don't happen. Then the next year, that stage happens again. It don't happen. It's like, stop selling dreams and just speak honestly. What is going on? It's not that complicated to be honest. And you don't have to reveal secrets to be honest and to be transparent. It's very simple to talk. You all are making all this money, millions and millions of dollars, and you can't do the most basic thing. And then you got to hire a bunch of yes men to keep the community hyped up and, and happy and excited. Oh, oh, everything's going to be okay. The team has us. The key team is going to look out for us. When? Since when? Yeah, they can throw a good party. Cool. Congrats. But the fact of the matter is, they promoted this as an investment. When we first got into this, they were talking about we would be able to retire, we would be able to do this. So many promises. The, the metaverse, they want people to be able to quit their jobs to work in the metaverse. This was all the promises that they gave us. And then after we funded their, their VV project based on these promises, they changed to collectors at heart. Also, oh, you collectors now? So is, is this not an investment anymore? How does it go from you'll be able to retire from this investment. We want you all working in the VV-verse to, oh, this is for true collectors only. Now it's for true collectors, but it wasn't for true collectors when you first started. It was gonna be a, this great investment. The problem is they have bullshitted their way throughout this entire thing. And that is why there's so much trust lost. This is why the community is divided because a lot of people don't remember all the promises that were made or they heard the pro promises from secondhand YouTube channels. So they, they never saw, they were never here at the beginning. They were here through the excited part. So many people jumped on after we were all really excited and making a bunch of money. That's when some people joined. But the OGs who were here, when they made these promises that this will be an investment, you can invest in us and we will, we, we will make it so you can retire. And when they were sitting here promising that bullshit, and that's what got us pumped in the beginning and made them be able to fund this thing at all. When that's what sold all of us early investors, a lot of these people who are still around wasn't even there. They don't even know about none of this. They think that we just making shit up or we like, you know, they, they, they think something weird, bro. The fact of the matter is they made promises. They, they, and if things changed, cool, that happens in business. That definitely happens in business. You may have been a lot more ignorant when you started. You, you know, things might have popped up that you couldn't foresee. That's understandable. But at least have the common courtesy or the decency to let people know that. Let people know that plans changed. Your intentions aren't what they once were because you're a little bit more educated on why that's not a great idea. Like, let people decide if they still want to stand by you after you're transparent, because when you was promising all these Batman scale and walls and all this type of shit, like you were very transparent then, or what we thought was transparent, which turns out you was just like talking out of your ass and lying or selling a dream at best. If the dream is not looking like it's the same dream anymore, make that clear. Be honest about that. Treating a community like it's full of freaking idiots and morons well, I mean, to be fair, in a lot of ways, a lot of areas of the community has proven to be that. Respectfully. Don't know how you can make that. <laughs> Don't know how you can make that respectful, but listen, I'm still me. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, this it is what it is, bro. We demand truth. We ask for truth. We ask for honesty and transparency. You can sit here and sell us all these lies. And now that we want you to clarify some of the things that you've promised and give us an update or an ETA or let us know the truth. Everybody's radio silent. Come on now. I don't need you to hire a new face to say we're all going to make it. Because that does nothing for me. I don't trust you all. 
I don't trust these people you're hiring. You don't hire anybody who criticizes the project. You don't hire anybody who will who wants to push things and, and make things better. You hire people who are desperate, who need this to work because they've invested so much and too much into it. So they, they don't want to let it go. They can't let it go. They need it to work out for them. That is what that is that is what you all have done. So the people that you all and the people that you've hired have proven that y'all none of y'all can be trusted. It's like, I don't know. It's just a whole circle jerk of lies. That that's what that's what this project is like in my eyes these days. Now, I still wish the best for it. I hope that I'm wrong. You know, I don't want to be right about this. I I want them to get it together. I want them to fix things, and I want to fall in love with the project again in the future. But I've seen nothing, and they've given me nothing to fall in love with. And it doesn't have to be this way. You've made a bot you made a lot of promises in the past. All you have to do is come correct and speak on the things from the past. It's very simple to do. It don't take it don't take too much to get out here and say it, say what it is. Say what it is. Cause all I see is a bunch of people doing over the counter deals. I see a bunch of people talking about, oh, this is gonna go to the moon, then selling on everybody. I see a lot of manipulation, dumping. That's what I see. And the chances of people actually getting rich from this project is very slim. Because if you think about it, Randy by himself owns a ton of Omi. He wants his money out of it. He wants to make his profits. Like, regardless of what these guys say, they hold into whatever numbers that the first people are who are going to sell is these people who have spent all this time accumulating these massive bags. So if things ever go up, the people like you, us, the regular average people who didn't have hundreds of thousands or millions to invest, we're still going to be last in the line to get paid at the at the point where people are are getting paid. Come on now. We're going to be last in line. The every like these guys are going to dump on everybody first before anything. So, that's what you have to understand. Like I feel like so many people like you know get behind all these influencers and stuff like that thinking that this is going to be Oh, that's inspiring. That's going to motivate me. Like the real, the real truth is no one cares about you. No one, everybody's out here looking out for themselves, which isn't a bad thing, but that means that y'all got to start looking out for yourselves. You got to get educated. You got to understand when people are playing you and dangling carrots and things like this, bro. Like your family needs you to. I don't care if you fail to succeed. Your success is not going to impact my life or your failure won't either. Like, you got to put in the work. You got to notice these things. You have to put forth an effort the same way that me, the other influencers who left, and all these, like, you have to decide you want better. It's not that we don't want to believe in them. They just have given us no real reason to. And y'all are still in this stage where any small announcement is some big thing because it has to be. At the point where you don't have to depend on some bullshit lie as the gospel, as the truth, you can be open to really seeing what's really going on. And I feel like that's where we at. I feel like a lot of us see what's really going on and it's nothing pretty. And y'all could easily prove us wrong with transparency, with some honesty, with some real talk, but there's nobody at Vivi who has the heart and the soul to real talk this community. This is why I think that the project is doomed as far as the Omi token goes. I think that there's a lot of heavy hitters with VV itself. VV, there could still be some value there. There could still be some value there. I don't think that these brands will want their cash cow to go down. But they don't give a shit about the Omi token. No one does. The people who were supposed to care about the Omi token, Reese, the team, all those people who were supposed to care about us, they were selling in private. Like what? Like what? What can we do about that? The people who were supposed to look out for us and have our back was the ones to betray us. This is what it is. This is how I see things, anyway. So yeah, if they don't have the nerve to speak out and let people know what's going on, let people know what what we deserve to know, we put our money into this. We invested in this because this was before the whole. Collectors at heart slogan that you paid what? Well, how much you paid for that advice? How many lawyers you have to pay for that advice? 
Like, how, when did they tell you to stop saying that because that you knew you was full of shit? Like, you can sit here and pay all these people to cover your ass, but you can't take five minutes to tell your your community that was in love with this project. What's going on? What's real? It's pathetic. So I don't care how successful VV is because of how shady everybody in the background has been and how these guys have carried themselves. That's why I don't fool around with the project no more. Like, I don't care how, I don't care if VV becomes the biggest project in the world. I'll remember the shady shit that y'all did at the beginning. I don't care if it becomes Amazon, which I highly doubt, but I don't care because people who move like that are disgusting. People who use people and build on the backs of hardworking people who believe in you, you sell them a dream, you, you, you build their faith up and then you betray their trust. Those are scum. That's how I feel anyway, but let me know what y'all think. Let me know how y'all been feeling, man. I'm done preaching. Um, just wanted to, to pop back up, share my opinion with y'all, let y'all know what I'm thinking and how I'm seeing things. This is this is the truth. This all I this all I can give y'all. My truth. My truth. So yeah, there we have it. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I have started some new things here on the channel where I go through some of my sources of revenue, some of my sources of income. And I'm starting to build up more so into the finance niche as a whole. I'm educating myself still. I'm still making moves in business and, you know, we're expanding. So the channel has expanded into other things. It will continue to do so. I'm Cavell Anderson. I am not the VV guy. I am not the Omi guy. I'm not the $10 Omi guy. I am Cavell Anderson and I was once stupid enough to believe that Omi could go to $10. I no longer believe that. Only time will tell, only the future will tell what happens, but this is where I stand right now. So yeah, hopefully y'all have been okay. Y'all have been safe. Y'all have had a prosper, prosperous few you know, years or however long it's been. And yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.